What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. Have you ever queued into a deathmatch and your aim just feels perfect and on point and you just can't miss a shot? Your aim feels really good and you're completely in the flow state. But then right afterwards, when you queue into a ranked game, you can't hit a single shot and you play horribly. You know that you could be doing so much better and that you are capable of being better than this, but you just can't seem to perform. I know I have definitely experienced this before and I'm sure that many of you guys watching have as well. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why this happens and then how to fix it so you can transfer that godly deathmatch aim into your ranked games. Right before we jump into the video though guys, I want to take a moment to introduce you and thank Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video. Valorant Tracker is the best tool out there for tracking your stats and improvement. You can see a detailed breakdown of all your different statistics such as KD ratios, map win rates, agent win rates, headshot percentages, and so much more. One of the coolest features that Valorant Tracker offers is the Guide tab, where you can sift through a massive video library of lineups and strategies for every agent on every map. You'd expect that for a tool like this, you'd have to pay some sort of monthly subscription or that it would be very expensive, but Valorant Tracker is actually 100% free to download and use. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or pinned comment to download Valorant Tracker today. Huge, huge thank you to Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video. And with all of that being said, guys, let's jump right into the video. I'm going to be splitting this video into two sections. And the first section is going to be explaining why this happens and the reasoning behind your aim being insane in deathmatch, but being lackluster in your actual ranked games. And in the second half, I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips and what you can do to actually improve this and transfer that aim over. Now, there are three main reasons why this issue exists, which I'm going to be explaining to you now. The first and one of the most major reasons is because of confidence. In deathmatch, there's nothing on the line and there is zero penalty to dying, so you play much more confident in yourself. I've preached this to you guys in so many videos, but I truly believe that Valorant is 50% mechanics and 50% mental. And when you are confident and you have that confidence backing you up, it can really translate to your gameplay. In deathmatch, you'll have really good aim and really good movement because there's no pressure to do well. But in your ranked game right afterwards, you're crouch spraying, you're flicking all over the place, and you're performing all of these bad habits because you are under pressure. This pressure perfectly leads me to my second point about this, which is the fake risk that comes with ranked. Like I just mentioned, in deathmatch, if you die, oh well, nothing happens, you respawn two seconds later and you're right back in the game. In a ranked game though, losing that gunfight could mean losing the round and then eventually losing the game. By having a rank attached to you, there's an elo number that creates this false pressure that something is at risk. This pressure will make you feel anxious and feel like you have to perform or you're going to lose that elo that you fought so hard to earn, which will just make you end up playing worse. This can lead to panicking in fights and crowd spraying a lot. It could also lead to tilting and ruining your mental in a game. It's been researched and studied that in professional sports like basketball or tennis or what have you, the more pressure there is to perform in a game, the higher the likelihood that the players miss easier shots. The third and final reason why I believe this issue is so prominent is because of multitasking and tunnel visioning. In a deathmatch, all you have to worry about is your aim and your mechanics, and that's about it. You don't have to play smart, you don't have to worry about utility, you just run around and kill people and that's it. In a ranked match though, you need to worry about your positioning, playing off your teammates, different utility, using all of your utility accordingly, and so many other things that you're tasked with, which ends up splitting your mind into a bunch of different directions. This can make it really hard to just focus on your aim and can lead to your mind being occupied by other things and have you panic and crowd spray or whatever the issue might be. Since there's just so much going on in a live match, it can be 
really hard to transfer that mechanics that you've built up in deathmatch and use it in your ranked games because you're just so focused on everything else that's going on. I think that was a pretty good explanation of the main reasons why it can be so hard to perform in a live match compared to other more casual game modes like deathmatch. Now that we all understand this, let's talk about some ways to fix this issue and how you can transfer that skill from deathmatch into your ranked games. The first major tip that I can give you guys on fixing this issue is instead of only playing deathmatch and only playing deathmatch to warm up, Try playing some more unrated or a swift play to practice using your mechanics you've built in an in-game environment. A fellow Valorant YouTuber named Noted made an aim guide a little while back and actually mentioned this issue in his video. Like this and come back, you can kind of get the, the shots in the same spot like this. It's hard to apply in a live game because there's so many things happening. A lot, a lot of people like, including me, like you with tunnel vision in the fight, and this is very bad. But if you if you're able to like focus only on your aim, is is definitely like it definitely pays off like a hundred percent. He only briefly brushed over the topic in that video, but I think it deserves its own video here since it's very, very important to understand. If you can focus on your aim and mechanics in a live match setting, you will see massive, massive improvement and I cannot stress this enough. This is also a great environment to focus on fixing your crouch spraying habit and using good movement accompanied with your aim in a live match setting. This alone will help you guys a lot with this issue and I know that I've been doing this a lot more recently and it's been making me so much better. The next tip I have for you guys on fixing this is to stop obsessing over your rank and your elo. I mentioned this tip in my 20 Valorant tips I wish I knew sooner video and this is exactly why. By hyper focusing and obsessing about your rank and setting your self worth to your rank, it can really bring down your mental and add to that fake risk that's in the game that makes you play worse. I know this is obviously a lot easier said than done and it's still something that I struggle with from time to time to this day, but you really just have to let go of it. Your rank does not matter. What matters is your improvement and seeing yourself get better. And as you improve and get better at the game and attain more skills, guess what? your rank will come up along with it. I've told you guys this many, many times, but your rank is a byproduct of your skill, not the other way around. By letting go of the pressure of having to maintain a rank, it'll make you have a much clearer mind in your games and in turn will make you perform much better as well and just enjoy the game more in general. My last tip that I have for you guys on fixing this issue is to make sure that you are fully warmed up before queuing into a ranked match from deathmatch. A lot of the times I'll just play one deathmatch and then queue up for ranked. Playing one deathmatch is rarely enough to get me warmed up to play at my peak and it's always better to just take time and make sure that you're really feeling it before you queue into your games. This is another huge reason why people don't perform as well as they want to in their ranked games because they just really neglect their warm up and just queue up after a deathmatch and just call that good. You guys already know that though, I've pretty much ingrained it in your brain that warm up routines are amazing and have really helped me improve. You don't need to have some crazy Easy, insane two hour long warm up routine, but just taking a little extra step to make sure that you're fully warmed up before playing that ranked match will go a really long way, I promise you. And I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. In this video, I explained to you guys why it's so hard to transfer your aim that you have in deathmatch to your ranked games, and then gave you guys tips on how you can fix this issue and finally transfer that aim and perform at your peak in those ranked matches. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You guys have been showing so much love and support on the recent videos and I just cannot thank you guys enough for all of that. You guys are the best. I have a Discord link down in the description below. You should come join that. We have a super chill community. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day or night to watch this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Mommy, she gon' call me up on FaceTime Run into the bar so you know I never waste time